this is Nova's camera view and uh, we can see here that Nova is interested in doing the bonus objective and uh, that is what she uh, has uh, planned. So she spawns, the uh, she starts downloading the AI personalities and the first uh, harass wave has spawned but she has a good number of siege tanks over here, people lies as well in the mix and some ghosts. So uh, these uh, zerglings pretty much stand no chance against the uh, against uh, Noah's army here. So she is still in assault mode, but she isn't using her shotgun, so those siege tanks are taking a little bit of damage. And then finally, after all the attack waves are done, she drops her defensive drone over here, and uh, all is good. But uh, there are just... Uh, she continues the next AI download, and then there might be a small bit of a problem that Nova hasn't really realized until now. She sees that there is an attack wave in her base, and those Zerglings have taken out her uh, command center. And now she is ready in airstrike mode, getting ready to cast airstrike. She's just waiting for a little bit, just to make sure these Zerglings have done enough damage to their structures before uh, she uh, casts her airstrike. And then she does cast her airstrike uh, right in the middle of the area where the uh, units are not there and uh, ends up missing half the attack wave and uh, now these zerglings are also going to start uh, working at this uh, star, star, star port over here and are they going to end up taking it down? Uh, no, they do not end up taking it down and uh, there we go, that is Nova Tunnel Visioning for you This run of Temple of the Past seems to be okay, so we have Raynor, he's put down his orbital CC he has uh, some adequate defenses over here but over here, something very interesting has happened, is he is long distance mining from his base, even though he has cleared his rocks. A little poke here from a hybrid dominator on the side, but this base has been going on like this for the course of the game. He clears his rocks, and he continues to long distance mine without moving that CC over, which is a very interesting strategy. Starcraft is a strategy game and understanding positioning is very important, especially if you want to play co-op where uh, co-op is mostly a statically designed mode where you, know, you have certain areas and you know the map well, so positioning is very very important. So over here we have uh, Tychus uh, that is coming up over here and now we have an attack wave that has spawned and all these siege tanks are going to start sieging up and Tychus is caught between the rock and the hard place because there's a hybrid on one side and there is a bunch of mech Terran units on one side and uh, down goes Tychus, down goes, down goes Sirius, Vega is also down now and Rattlesnake has been taken out as well and all five outlaws have been wiped out and are down for the count. Fast forwarding a little bit later, as if that was not enough, we have Tychus and Vega and Nux that are making their way towards this most objective to clean up the one marine over there. And uh, now they are getting ready to uh, start this bonus objective. We have Rattlesnake, who is unfortunately just still not made his way back there to help his buddies out. And uh, now we have an attack wave that has spawned and Rattlesnake aggroes us and just gets a face full of siege tank fire. And now we have three of Tychus' outlaws, or there, including himself, that uh, have no kind of healing or any kind of detection over here. And that will end up uh, wiping out the rest of these outlaws. But now this bonus objective is uh, very, very angry because uh, they uh, have been summoned and they end up taking out the data core. And now, since they have nothing to aggro, they are going to start making their way towards the Allied Commander's base over here. And so far, there are no outlaws in production at the moment, only Tychus. We have Sirius, who's standing guard over here, and he's watching the front door, and there are going to be a lot of things that are coming his way. In just a moment, Sirius decides to back up a little bit to uh, join with his buddy Tychus, and now Tychus and co are ready to handle this next attack wave that he has created by himself. Uses a share grenade, takes out the front side of this attack wave, but now there are a lot of siege tanks at the back, and all these siege tanks are going to be shelling Tychus, and Tychus ends up going down, and now Sirius is left by himself. He does end up fearing some of these years, but he also ends up getting blown up to little smithereens, and Vega is trying to run through, and also ends up getting wiped. And now, Amon's forces are going to continue their parade push over here, much to Nova's discontent, because now they are attacking Nova's army. Nux is on the way, have no fear, he's going to try and save everyone with his auto attack and uh, he decides he's going to try and run away from the siege tank fire but unfortunately Nux also gets destroyed by the siege tank fire that is there 
And now it's this Rattlesnake's turn to join in on the free and uh, have some fun. And again, lots of siege tanks over there. And the siege tanks uh, are going to completely end up shelling Rattlesnake down. There is a revitalizer that gets dropped. Unfortunately, that is not going to be enough. Nova is in at DEFCON 4 right now, trying to heal up the command center and repair this command center while uh, Tychus joins in on uh, this fight. The revitalizer is still up. He finally is able to use that to take out a large chunk of the siege tanks. And now there's one last siege tank over here. And finally, Tychus has attacked. broken free of Amon's spawn camp. Raynor's army is very well trained. So over here we have the first person view of this Raynor player. And you can see that he's using his highly trained army to deal with Molten Cell. And Molten Cell really stands no chance against his army. And uh, then Raynor decides, you know what, since you guys are done, I no, do not need you anymore. And I am just going to throw you all into the lab. I've taken off first person view here. Raynor has clearly seen what he has done, but apparently he does not care. This is Vorzun's uh, camera view, and Vorzun is sitting on Cradle of Death, minding their own business, you know, macroing up, building up their economy, making sure everything is good. You know, they have a probe sitting around here as well, expansion stake, and everything's all good. Now they're starting to move their truck across to the next uh, objective when they realize, oh wait, there are a bunch of zealots over here that are causing a bit of a problem. And now there is another bunch of zealots that are also causing more problems. And uh, now there is a little bit of a panic. And I'm going to take off the first game person view because it is going to be uh, it's just completely focused on this base. Um, there is a time stop available. Note here that is not being utilized. And now this nexus is also going down. So you know, time stop could be used to delay for the shower guard. But unfortunately, that is not going to happen. And uh, that nexus goes down. And now these probes are all homeless. And they decide to start running towards the next uh, expansion to deposit their mineral line. Artifact truck on this side does get moved across here, but these zealots are causing a lot of carnage so far. And with enough energy for a shadow guard, a black hole gets dropped instead, which only stalls the inevitable, which is, you know, again, minorly problematic because you have no combat units on this side. Zeratul, on the other hand, is on that side as well. He's just pushing through and trying to complete this objective, which uh, he doesn't have uh, anything that he can use to uh, get back. And additionally, there is also a dark pylon that could be here, that could be used to recall some of the Zeratul's used across, but none of that has been utilized. And that is pretty much the end of Vorazun's main base here. There is now finally a Zoraya Legion that gets dropped, but uh, that is not going to be enough to handle the complete carnage that Amon is going to dish out on Vorazun's base over here. Our allies are in battle. 